This is Self Starter. Hello, folks. Welcome to Self Starter, a podcast highlighting small business owners, the self employed, and freelancers who have taken the plunge to create their own desirable lifestyle. My name is Andy Dowling. I also host the Andy Social Podcast. I'm the bass player for Australian metal band Lord, and I am also a dispute resolution specialist, a jack of all trades, I like to say. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook by following at Andy Dowling. If you want to follow, follow Self Starter, you can do so via Facebook by searching for Self Starter, as well as going to selfstarter.com.au, where I'll have a number of blog posts um, and other resources in addition to this podcast. So I'll continue to build on that in the coming weeks and months ahead. Now, this episode is number one. It's the introduction. It's going to be short in length. I'm going to try and keep this as refined and uh, efficient and not have too much rambling in this because I really just want to keep this short and sweet for you guys to explain a little bit of context behind what Self Starter is all about. And then as you can see, episode two will be the first proper episode with a guest and we'll continue on from there. But ultimately, what Self Starter is all about, for people that don't know, is about small business, self-employment, and freelancers, or freelancing, I should say. Now, I'm catering for three segments of people. I'm catering for the first segment who are people that work for somebody else. They work in a job, they probably had a career in something, um, and they're not terribly happy. They've been dreaming about doing something more. They've got a bunch of ideas. They've always talked about doing something, but they've just never quite taken those first few steps for a number of different reasons, out of fear, not knowing what to do, not having anybody around them to support them, etc. So I'm really catering for them to give them some tools and some information and to give them some reassurance that they can dive into this and it doesn't have to be this daunting uh, process of taking those first few steps. The second segment of people are those that have progressed a little bit further. They've already taken those first few steps. They've got an idea. They've got a business concept. They, they understand where it's going. They can see a vision of where they're heading, but they're getting closer to launch date. They're getting closer to uh, opening doors for trade. And there's a lot of apprehension. There's fears. There's concerns. There's a lot of anxiety and stress around how are people going to respond to this? How are strangers, the public going to respond to whatever I'm about to put out there? How's my family and friends going to respond? Is this going to be a success? How's this going to impact me financially? What happens if this fails? And there's a number of things that you just get caught up in this whirlwind of just unproductive thought. And, uh, what I'm hoping from that segment of people is that we can give just that last little bit of, uh, of motivation, that boost to get them over the line and get them uh, into launch and opening of, uh, of whatever their business may be. Give them some reassurance that they're on the right track. And the third segment of people are people that have actually done it. They're doing it. They're out there. They've, uh, they've had their business open for trade for several weeks, months, years, decades, and talking to them and understanding the various stages that they've had to go through in their growth, whether they've scaled up, whether they've kept things as it is, um, how they've had to adapt and change as the market and, and our world changes. And for them, I really want to provide uh, that segment of audience with value by learning from other businesses and what they're doing, sharing best practices, not always worrying about what's happening in our little pocket of our industry and our particular um, product or service, but really understanding and getting leverage from other people doing things that on the surface might be completely different, but there might be something underlying some foundations, some idea that's triggered that you could apply in your own business. So I really want to make sure that people can leverage off each other and, and really share best practices from that, uh, that side of it. So that in a nutshell is who my audience is going to be. And I've already had a lot of people um, showing a lot of interest in this podcast. And I'm really hoping that I can scale this up and make it bigger and better as the, as the weeks and the months and the years progress. But um, ultimately that's where we're starting with. And for me personally, this is a massive interest for me. I'm transitioning at the moment from being fully employed and doing a number of side hustles on the side, but um, you know, moving eventually into full self-employment. And um, this is a long journey, and, and this is what I'm finding. And talking to people um, that will be in the upcoming episodes of Self Starter, I'm learning quite a bit. And I'm understanding that this is a long game. This is not something that you just make a quick decision and suddenly you either succeed or fail instantly. This is something where you have to chip away and you have to plan ahead. And there are a number of different scenarios and different paths that you can go down and a lot of variables that can swing you in different directions. But ultimately you need to 
put in the hard yards. You need to think long term and you need to show some patience and some resilience. And this is really cool. And for me personally, this is so selfish. The selfish intentions of this podcast is that for me, I'm getting reassurance from people. I'm, I'm learning what other people are doing. I can see ahead for, from people that have been doing it for, for years and years and seeing what to do, what I probably shouldn't be doing, what I should put my attention on. And as technology changes, as the attention of people uh, change, as just the markets change, we need to really sort of push ourselves further and further uh, along to really sort of get as much information and be adaptable and be innovative and learn as much as we can. So uh, there's so many potential bonuses and uh, offshoots of this podcast that uh, could help other people in different uh, parts of their journey. So I'm really, really excited to help people, um, I guess, be a success as far as whatever definition of success that might be for them. This is a huge project for me and and something that I've been working on for a number of months leading up to now and been doing a lot of research and a lot of uh, behind the scenes planning and building to, to, to launch this podcast. But what I'm finding is that, and one thing that I must stress for everybody listening and and following self starter is that it will be clunky at times and the focus and the direction may change a few different times as the podcast finds its feet, as I find my feet. And, um, I need to ensure that I remain flexible and adaptable and innovative in my own space and talking to a number of different people so far and doing my research, I've found that these are qualities that are critical in being a successful self-employed individual. Um, you need to understand that your visions and your goals might not end up being reality and, and environmental changes, things around you, the, the impact of customers and clients and, and the market as that changes, you need to be able to adapt and show flexibility and, and be open to change and be innovative. So you will see that at times with self starter, things will change slightly formats might, might change. I might tweak things here and there, but that will be my progression. So for, for you guys, there's going to be a lot of tools and hopefully a lot of value and things that you get a lot out of this podcast, but the other side of it, maybe a bit more from an entertainment point of view you guys can follow my journey as well and you can see where I'm learning things and what things apply for me and in my context I might be able to pull out some key learnings for myself but um, obviously I want to be able to provide you guys with as much value as possible the bonus will be that there might be some entertaining moments along the way with my own personal experiences and I'll do my best to share as much of that as possible with you guys as the weeks and months and years progress as well so that's it I'm going to keep this short and sweet this intro is a little bit clunky as they always are if you listen to episode one of the Andy Social podcast It is absolutely embarrassing. And I assume, even recording this now, that it will be embarrassing to listen back to this, but you've got to start somewhere. And as you're finding your feet, you just need to take action. And that's another big thing to self-start. Just take action. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect because you'll work it out as you go. So here we are. Episode one, self-starter. Selfstarter.com.au. Find me on on, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Andy Dowling, or search for self-starter on Facebook as well. And uh, please listen to episode two, which will be up right now with our first guest. And I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to getting feedback from you guys and growing with me. And before I wrap this up, one very key piece piece of information that I've uh, forgotten to include in this intro is that the first several episodes of Self Starter are all based in the Shoalhaven region, which is the south coast of New South Wales. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. I moved to the Shoalhaven region a couple of years ago, uh, buying property down here, and and I've started working down here independently for myself, but also uh, still working for an employer up in Sydney, so I do a lot of driving. But one thing that I have seen down here is it's a completely different world. Uh, self-employment is critical. Um, there's not as many opportunities for big employers down here, um, unless you're in particular industries and those industries are always volatile. Um, people are let off on, uh, from employment. Uh, there's a lot of unemployment. There's a number of different things down here that are unique to regional Australia, as opposed to, uh, m- Metro, uh, city areas. So, um, I found a lot of interest in this area and I thought why not start in my own backyard and start talking to people that live in this region who have been here for a number of years or people that have only just started up and people that are about to launch their businesses, as I said before, those segments of people. And to start in Shoalhaven is important to me because it's my own backyard and I can reach out to people very quickly. And there's a lot of context and comparisons that I get a lot out of. So some of you might be listening to this who are based in the Shoalhaven region and that's why you're listening to this podcast. Just as a heads up, 
this will be where the podcast is based for the first several episodes. Over time, this will expand. I've got friends of mine who have launched uh, businesses in all corners of Australia, um, in metro areas, but also in regional areas. And one big thing that I'm really hoping is that I can open people's eyes up to the possibilities of self-employment in regional areas and rural areas and understand that you can get a fantastic work-life balance and work anywhere in the country, bearing in mind you have a great internet connection, but that could be another uh, podcast all in itself. But um, the possibilities are endless. There are so many different opportunities out there. And I'm hoping that through this podcast, I can highlight a number of different ideas and options for people. And um, as you guys progress, as listeners of this podcast progress on your own paths, I'd love to hear from you and get an understanding of what your story is. And maybe your story could be uh, valuable for this podcast as well. And I'll certainly be getting out there outside of the Shoalhaven region in the months and years to come and getting around the country and talking to lots of different people as I do with the Andy Social Podcast. So I'll definitely be using a lot of frame work from that podcast in self-starter and using a lot of that leverage to uh to make this bigger and better but to begin with we start in shoalhaven and uh, it's an exciting place in the world if you haven't been here highly recommend it beautiful beaches great lifestyle it's a beautiful coastal uh, region down here and um, i really encourage you guys to come down here and if you're in sydney or wollongong and you're looking to purchase property i'll give you guys a, a tip get down here now because uh, there's, this place is opening up and there's a lot of stuff happening now. I'm no property investment expert. I'm no uh, financial planner or anything as such. So make sure you seek uh, professional advice. But in my personal experience, uh, there's been a lot of growth down here and it continues to do so. And speaking to the guys here for Self Starter and looking around the place and doing my research, it's continuing to grow. And there's a lot of people from Sydney moving down here. So come on down. Let's see what happens. So enough of me. Thank you very much. Episode one of Self Starter is in the bag, as clunky as it is. And I really look forward to you guys tuning in to episode two and beyond and supporting this podcast. I'd love to hear from you over at selfstarter.com.au. And I look forward to a long relationship together. Thanks all.